Shrak Frank Shaibu, an aide to former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, accused the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinbu of not being ready to serve Nigerians. <laughs> well, in a statement titled 10 Big Lies of Tinubu Administration, Shaibu said the federal government prefers to use propaganda instead of doing the real work, citing 10 examples, including the statement issued by Ajuri Ngelali. Presidential spokesperson claiming that Tinubu was the first African leader to ring the Nasdaq closing bell. <laughs> Shaibu said the statement was retracted because they were caught in a lie. Shaibu also stated that the proposed meeting between Tinubu and U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the 78th United Nations General Assembly, as announced by Ngelale, did not hold. And so... The said proposed meeting might have also been a lie. <laughs> Let me just pull up some of his statements, if we can pull those up. Uh, he wrote the first uh, a lie that was told by Bola Tinubu was in his inaugural speech, where he stated that petrol subsidy is gone, with oil prices now at $94 per barrel, and Naira exchanging at 1,000 Naira per dollar. The price of diesel has risen to about 1,000 Naira per liter. While petrol remains at 620 naira per liter, it is obvious to the discerning mind that petrol is now being subsidized, a position which all, all marketers have espoused. Nigerians should not be deceived. Tinubu's claim that there is no subsidy is a lie. Another one there, the second lie, was told, which I just talked about. Oh, actually, this was the United Arab Emirates had lifted the visa ban on Nigerians immediately yes. and that all Nigerians were free to visit Dubai. UAE authorities later confirmed to CNN that it was all a lie. He said it was a national embarrassment. The third lie was about what I just read, African first African president to ring the Nasdaq bell, which has uh, since been uh, established that uh, Jakai Kikwete rang the bell on September 21st. I took that story on Friday. Uh -huh. uh, another lie, he said, a statement released by Ajuri Ngalale on August 27th, that Joe Biden was to meet with Tinubu on the sidelines of Onga. That is the only African Biden had requested to meet. It turned out to be another lie because Tinubu departed Onga without meeting President Biden. Another lie was a claim made by Tinubu on the floor of Nasdaq about retooling the exchange rate. But the exchange rate on the INE window is about 780 naira to a dollar, while the rate at the parallel market is 1,000 naira to the dollar. He also talked about the Nigerian Air Force struck by alleged terrorists in Niger State. Another one is Sinubu's, uh, when he said the statement about the Central Bank of Nigeria on September 6th, that it will inject 10 billion into a uh, foreign exchange market to clear the FX backlog, another lie. He also talked about Tinubu's inaugural speech in which he stated that he shall serve with prejudice towards none. He accused Tinubu of running a clannish government. He also talked about the NNPC claiming that they had obtained an Afrexim loan of $3 billion with which it would help stabilize the Naira. I called that another lie. He said it was audio money. Then he said that the tenth biggest lie which is a scam. He said it was a deceit of the Tinubu administration, which was the Student Loan Act, which he signed on June 12th. The new law provides loans for students' tuition only. But Adele Alake, who was the then special advisor on media and publicity in a statement, said that the government tuition remains free. Oh, are we, are we done? Oh, we ran out of time. Oh, we okay, did! Go. I didn't even know! Oh, wow! <laughs> I didn't even know that.